Hello students, Dr. Dia here with another philosophy appetizer. You know, at this stage in the course, I'm pretty sure, and be honest, that some of you might be wondering, why do you have to study all this stuff? I mean, what's up with this SP3 hybridization and, you know, N and L quantum numbers and, you know, ionic and molecular compounds? When am I ever going to use that again? And it reminded me of a book that I read several years ago. It's called Made to Stick by Chip and Dan Heath. And they posed a similar question about high school algebra. And when students asked, you know, why study algebra? There was the intellectual response. Algebra provides procedures for manipulating symbols. It provides a vehicle for understanding our world through mathematical models. It's kind of like, right? It, it, that doesn't really satisfy. Then there's the practical explanation you give high school students. Why do you need to learn algebra? Well, you need it to get your high school diploma, pretty much. Uh, very practical, but it still doesn't answer the question, well, when am I ever going to use this again? So in the book, they pose the question to a high school teacher. And he said, my grade nine students have difficulty appreciating the usefulness of the standard form of the equation of a line, prompting them to ask, when are we ever going to need this? And you know what this teacher told them? He said, never, you will never use this again. But then it says, he goes on to remind them that people don't lift weights so that they'll be prepared should one day someone knock them over on the street and lay a barbell across their chests. No, you lift weights so that you can knock over a defensive lineman or carry your groceries or lift your grandchildren without being sore the next day. In other words, math is mental weight training. It is a means to an end, not an end in itself. And I thought it curious because I, I kind of tend to think of that way about chemistry, particularly for those of you who are not planning to become chemists per se. And perhaps that is who I'm addressing this to. You know, you can ask the question, you know, when am I ever going to use these, you know, hybrid orbitals and shapes of molecules, right? Uh, when am I ever going to need to balance a chemical equation? You know, what is the usefulness of knowing, you know, about Hess's law? It's like, when am I ever going to use this again? And I think the answer I can give you honestly is probably never. Unless you are a chemist and somewhat specialized, you're probably never going to use this stuff ever again in your life. So what is its purpose and usefulness? Well, consider this a weight training exercise. We have forced your mind to train, to exercise, to think about things in a certain way. And hopefully someday what you will carry with you is this skill of obtaining, processing, and applying information in whatever field of work you choose to be. Hopefully that's a skill you're walking away with. Hopefully it's been your, worth your while. And hopefully someday you'll remember what I told you about it. You know, chemistry, as far as this course is concerned, has been a mental weight training exercise. Thanks.